Good morning guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna make it all ought to be in the house and I'm gonna start, I've actually just been to the post office so I have my shoes on. I'm gonna start by hopefully getting some foliage in the garden. If I'm honest, I'm not, I'm still not that sure what we have in our garden and what might be a possibility to bring in. It's rained solidly here, I feel like for two weeks, like non-stop rain. I mean, it's just stopped a little bit now, so I'm gonna pop out and hopefully I might be able to dry them, maybe by the flower, flower? <laughs> by the fire a little bit, so that I can um, actually like put them all out today. But let's see, let's see what we have out there. So this is what I picked. There wasn't a huge amount. This is definitely the best. So this is actually, I think, a hawthorn tree. Um, it blossoms in spring and at the moment it's turning like, if you can see, a little bit burgundy with some berries on. Hydrangeas, which may still be a little bit too pink. This is, I could hear my mum when I was picking this being like, no Laura, don't pick it. Um, this was a really sweet Acer, but I just thought that they would be nice in like maybe a little vase. And then this, I believe, is called a bottle neck or a bottle brush neck tree or something like that. I just thought that these were really interesting. Don't know whether I can somehow utilize that in an arrangement. But now I need to debug them and dry them out a little bit because they all are quite wet. May or may not have gone a little bit crazy on the gourds and munchkins and squashes too. Um, but I'm going to give these a little bit of a wash because they're looking quite muddy at the moment. I think this little one's my favorite. Oh, how cute. But also the little munchkins. I mean, you just can't beat those, can you? An interesting fact of the day, apparently you can varnish these and they'll keep for like years or something. I mean, is that true? Does anybody know if you actually can? Because that could work quite well because I wanted to, well, perhaps put them inside for a little while and then pop them out in my boxes. Oh, yeah, I could just keep them till next year. Can you imagine the stash that I'd have over the years? <laughs> These have been washed, cleaned, and dried. I've moved everything from the sink area. I'm gonna move these. My lovely friend Alice got me these over, maybe I'll pop them over here for now. And then, hopefully, I can start doing all the flower arranging over this side. Or should I say foliage arranging? Now that definitely says autumn. I'm thinking that I'm gonna put these in the dining room, but actually first, may do something that I very rarely do and I might take an Instagram photo um, but I'm gonna start maybe putting some of these in vases first and see how it looks. Having a dilemma with these. I did really want, as you guys know, some more vases that weren't clear. <sighs> but I thought about cutting them down and putting them in this one, but I just think it's too low and too wide. You know, they, well, I gave it a go, basically. Look at this. Not gonna look good. <laughs> so then I thought I'll try them in a mid vase, and that's not really working. So now I'm thinking I'm gonna have to stick with this one that doesn't particularly work. And maybe when I arrange them, just Bonk something in front of it <laughs> like that. I mean, it doesn't matter. Nobody's coming around much at the moment. So um, by next year, hopefully I can have a vase that these look a lot nicer in because I paid enough for these for them to hopefully look kind of nice somewhere in the house. I got changed <laughs> for the Instagram. I'm kind of getting there with all our flowers, but now I'm gonna give the dining room a little bit of a, just like a wipe down, especially on the mantelpiece. And Ollie is coming back for lunch, so the oven's on for some pizza. And I think because he's coming back, I'm gonna get him to take the Instagram, which means I don't have to faff with putting it on the tripod, which is great. I always get asked about this stuff, by the way. It's all totally natural, and it's from a company called, I guess you'd say Tincture, London. And they do like refillable bottles and everything, so there's no waste on the plastic.
dries on. Still stuff everywhere and needs cleaning. But I'm just kind of now like putting things in each room to see where I want them to go. I definitely think I want the more brighter oranges in here because I think they pop really nicely with the color of the walls. But floral arrangement wise, I'm not sure. And I feel like these need to go, but they do brighten it up. So I'm just gonna keep moving things around. After all, shuffling things from room to room is like my favorite game ever. And then this room is looking a little bit cold. It needs a little bit of zhuzhing, definitely. This chair isn't staying, that's just temporarily there. We actually picked it up. It was brand new from Swoon on Gumtree for like 20 quid, we got two of them. But I wanna work on this console area and of course the mantle. So I'm just gonna like dump things in, clean them up a little bit first and then move them around. I don't know anybody who can play something somewhere and just have it done and dusted, like they know where it's gonna go. <laughs> I always move mine quite a few times. Colour tonally, this is looking better now. This is just looking a mess, but I've forgotten my pumpkins out of my box, my faux pumpkins from last year. So I'm gonna go and find those because I don't know if some of those will look better on here. I've taken away all of the light blue, dropped a candle in the process, but happier with how that's going now. I think it'll also look really nice when the candles are lit. Let's go and find that autumn box though. Pretty lucky to be honest, it could have been buried under all of these. But it's right here, I can manage that. I feel like I could keep adding, but I'm kind of happy with where the living room is now. I've just lit it all up. I decided to go to the, the lanterns on here. I think it needed the height. And just they're so pretty at night, especially when they twinkle um, with these darker pillar candles. I did the faux dried bouquet on here, just with another little set of flowers and also some of my gourds here. And I kind of struggled with this candle. I didn't know where to put it, but this is our like pumpkin smelling candle. So I wanted it to be somewhere where it wasn't like too, like this is a big room, but I have very sensitive smell. So if it was on the coffee table, it'd be too much. Have put a candle down there, which I know some of you may be like, well, be careful, but it's quite a bit of distance and I'll only have it lit when we're in the room. I moved the marble ornament in here so that they're like all of the light blue went and it went for a lot more like neutral colors. Sadly, you can see the wires here, but we need a bigger chair. I've hidden as much pink on the chair as possible. Draped one of our like snugglies. These are amazing because they're actually really comfortable. I got these at Zara last year however i did see that they had them in again this year because they're just super soft they wash really well and i think because of this pattern on them rather than like the plain ones that you can get in this fleecy material they just look a little bit more luxe but obviously inexpensive i've literally just got this cushion through the door and it's supposed to be for the green room reveal and now i'm like oh i should have got two because i really like it there and i think it ties in the colors we'll see it might be just something that i move around again and then the mantle is the thing that i feel like i might keep tweaking i've left it pretty minimal so again lantern i did have some flowers over there at one point these flowers but it was just too much so i've got my squash and a few ooh, 
a few dried flowers there. And then same this side. I absolutely love these. I think these are probably my favorite from the garden. And I've still got loads left. So I'm thinking of doing quite a lot with those in the dining room. And then just again, a few more little ones over this side. But I'm not sure if it's too plain. So we'll see. I was also gonna put some lanterns at the bottom. So Christmas time, I usually put candles in the fireplace. But I feel like I have enough candles going on. I have quite a lot at the moment. I kept this super plain, apart from some Halloween sweeties um, and a candle, just because we move this back and forth a lot and we have our feet on it. And I know if I put some flowers in there, even dried, they'll probably just drop all over it and then they'll go over our precious rug. So I tried not to. Um, again, I draped this one over, but we'll be using these. And then I popped these ones over here. It just adds a little bit more color to this corner. And these gorgeous um, candle holders, I think these have already sold out on H&M, which is such a pain, because I wanted to get a few more for the dining room. And then I just popped the darker cushions more in the middle. And I got this one down from our storage, which is from Oka a few years ago. I don't know, it just adds a little bit more of the autumn color tone in. It definitely feels cozier in here, but I think I might keep adding more. But I feel like that's half of the fun of it, isn't it? I mean, it's gonna be Christmas soon, dare I say it. <laughs> Let's go and do the dining room now, because I might bring some more bits in here from there. So I feel like the poor dining room definitely got second picks. I took out the hydrangeas, but I think it needs something else in here rather than the berries. It just needs a pop, I feel. Some kind of flower, maybe. Not quite sure. I feel like Helleborus would be nice, but I don't know if they do some which are long-stemmed enough. I've gone very pumpkin heavy over here with two pumpkins, but I think it kind of works, even though it's golden gray. And then over on the mantle, I just basically put a bit more on it because I felt like it needed it. I started with all the orange gourds and it just did not look nice. So I decided to go for a few more of the berries in a vase and the hydrangea, and then just a few kind of like randomly dotted around, candle, some photo frames, and then I did split up some of the dried flowers a little bit. Oops, you're supposed to be there. To you, but it does, it just brings a bit more of a warmth in with the fire, I think. So the table is currently missing its runner, it's in the dryer at the moment. But I got these candlesticks um, recently at a charity shop. I really wanted to include those. Quite like that they're a darker wood. We have to put something on this table because we've not yet stained it. As you can see, there are a few marks. Um, I managed to bring the hydrangeas here, Ooh, kicking the chair. And then I just put all of the gourds into a bowl, which I thought I was going to do in the kitchen, but I quite liked mixing it up in here a little bit. Definitely needs some kind of runner because the table just looks slightly lost in the room right now. Um, but I do love this table when you can fully see it without anything on. It's the next day and I thought I'd give you a quick overview because I didn't finish it off yesterday. But I've come to the conclusion that I think I just need more stuff. I don't feel like we yet have enough accessories and bits and pieces to be able to fill a whole house. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys will think that we do, but yeah. So the living room's definitely looking cozier, but could do with some more seating, as always. And then the dining room, it definitely looks cozier again. I feel definitely could do with some flowers there. And the mantelpiece is just looking a bit more full. And I should have showed you this last night because actually I had a friend last night and this was looking a lot prettier. I had like it done as a runner instead of across the whole table, but when we eat, we have to have it across the whole table. And um, I guess that's just the practicality of actually living in something and not having it look too much like a show home. And now if I thought the dining room, the worst of the bunch, the poor kitchen, I only got left with this for a little bit of autumn. Definitely starting to realize how much stuff we need moving from a flat to like a five bed house. We don't need it, but it's definitely gonna take us time to fill. We have the years and each year I can collect a bit like Christmas, some stuff for each season. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was a little bit short, but I'm working on lots of um, DIY makeover videos at the moment. Actually one which will be coming 
next week so make sure you're subscribed for that and i will see you all in that one i hope you have a wonderful weekend and you're all well and stay safe and we'll catch up in the next one bye